I'm Mary Beth Seewald, President and CEO of the Las Vegas Chamber of Commerce. I'm so proud and honored today to be here with our Chamber Chairman, Tom Burns, President of Craig and Pike Insurance. Tom, uh, thanks so much for being with us today. Mary Beth, thanks for having me on. I'm glad to be here. Well, we're, we're so honored to have you as our chairman this year, and what a year to be chairman of an organization like the Las Vegas Chamber of Commerce with coronavirus hitting us. I bet you never expected anything like that. It was a little bit of a surprise, to be candid. Uh, it wasn't, wasn't in my agenda, but you know, I'm, I'm so proud of the chamber and how it's responded, uh, not only from how the staff has responded, but how the, my fellow, fellow uh, board of trustee members have responded, and, and the members as a whole. They've really rallied together and they're doing great things for our community. I know we have so many great stories of our members helping each other. And so it's, even though it's a very challenging time, it's an honor to get to serve in this capacity to serve the business community. So I really appreciate your leadership. I'm very humbled to be here. It's a great, it's a great honor for me. All right, let's get right into the interview. What questions are you getting from small businesses and your clients and what advice are you giving them from the insurance perspective during these times? Sure. So there, there are a number of things going on. The biggest question that we get involves business interrupts in insurance and whether your, your policy applies. And, and by and large, the, the answer, the short answer is it doesn't it doesn't apply to to the virus as a whole. Um, you're going to have, uh, and, and but I encourage you to file a claim. So don't. I'm, I'm not sticking up for insurance companies. If you feel like you have a legitimate uh, a need, a, a legitimate claim, please file the claim. And, and, and go through the process, it's, it's worth going through. Just a matter of perspective that the National uh, Insurance Commissioners Association estimated that if every insurance, if every uh, employer under 100 employees filed a claim, the, 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 uh, the claim for business interruption for 30 days would be about $320 billion. If every, every business under, uh, under 500 employees filed the claim, the, uh, the loss would be about $450 billion a month. And so the entire reserves of the insurance industry are $890 billion. So you can see that, uh, again, and that would exhaust all of their resources for anything. Um, and so you can see that that would be pretty catastrophic. And I think it's pretty clearly addressed within the insurance contract. But again, um, please, if you feel like you, you have a legitimate claim, please file a claim. You have every right to do that. And what are some of the provisions that businesses need to be checking on their own individual policies? So right now, you, you need to make sure that you're carrying the appropriate limits, but not too much. And that's, those are things that I, I would look into. And review uh, what your exposures are. So if you have an estimated amount of sales or payroll, Let's, let's take a hard look at those. Many of the carriers are willing to, in the appropriate circumstances, are really willing to revisit those and adjust those exposures for, uh, for what we think is going to be appropriate, what the new normal is. And so uh, work with your carriers. Most of them are willing to work with you. Um, it, it's, it's when we wait till the end and we don't like the outcome that we have a problem. So let's, let's start and be proactive and reach out to your, your professional insurance agent right now. That's great advice. A lot of employees, like we are, uh, they're working from home right now. Um, what does a business owner need to know about liability insurance, like workers' compensation, um, things like that, to make sure that their business is protected right now? Sure. Uh, so workers' compensation, general liability, all of those things apply uh, wherever your employee is at and whatever they're doing upon your behalf. So you're fine. You should be fine there. You should make sure they're working in a safe environment. So make sure your employees are working in a safe environment and doing things that are appropriate. As far as property goes, property tends to be covered at the place that's described uh, on the policy. So if you have uh, uh, property that's traveling over the place that normally would be in your office, you need to you need to uh, speak with your insurance professional regarding that and have them go forward and 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 adjust your uh, policy appropriately. Okay, so Tom, your business, Craig and Pike, has been in business for 110 years. Yeah, and that's one of the the oldest businesses in Las Vegas. And uh, not not you're not one of the oldest guys, but your company is one of the oldest businesses. We're so proud of that. I'm, I'm sneaking up on it, but but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Such a, a rich legacy that you have. You've seen good times and bad throughout that time. From a longevity perspective, what are some practices that you might be able to share uh, to, keep, to keep your operations going during this very difficult time? 
Sure, we have been through a lot, and, and I haven't been there for, for all of them, but obviously we've been through the Depression and two world wars and uh, a lot of conflict. Um, even since I've been there, we've had uh, 9-11 and 1 October, uh, the Great Recession, and, and of course now the coronavirus thing. So uh, the things that, that we've tried to do is, one, we're, we're kind of conservative in how we manage our finances, to be candid. But beyond that, it's, it's take, we, we pride ourselves on taking care of each other. Uh, we pride ourselves on being a family-run organization about making sure that that uh, that the people come first and when they need to take care of themselves they need to take care of their, their families that's what they need to do come back when it's ready to come back come back when it's time but between here and there take care of yours and their own and, and we'll help take care of you yeah that's great advice as we've already established you're cha uh, chairman of the chamber this year and we're so proud of that what are some of the important things that you and know, I've worked very closely the last couple yep. of weeks and we always do, but what are some of the most important things that you think in your vision that the chamber is doing to support businesses right now? You can really see the, the chamber being very active and especially you, Mary Beth, in, in your leadership in, in spots all over the state. And, and we're, we're reaching out on behalf of business and, and especially small and medium sized businesses as you and I have talked, we're, I'm a, I know how my bread's buttered. Uh, I eat because we, my friends in gaming uh, take good care of our, our valley, and we want to support them in every way they can. Uh, but, but they're sophisticated folks, and they have, they have a lot of resources that, that maybe our smaller and medium-sized businesses don't have. And so we work really hard to reach out and take care of those and be mindful of uh, our members' needs and, and being proactive not only in making sure that we get the resources into our valley with it, that we're doing. So we're working hard with the governor's office to make sure that, that the PPE that we need to have in our valley is showing up to our valley and, and to Northern Nevada too. This is a statewide conversation. This is just not a Las Vegas conversation. So we're making sure that the PPE shows up into our valley and we're taking care of those frontline workers as best we can. And we're grateful for their, their service, by the way. Um, the other thing we're working hard to do is, is when it's time to come back to business, and I'm not, I'm not suggesting that's today, please social distance, please do what's necessary to take care of you and your family. But when it's time to come back to work, we want to make sure that, that we're back to work running hard, that we're able to get on the ground running quickly and get back to whatever normal is. We want to make sure that's happened. So we're working behind the scenes to make sure that, that happens for all of our small and medium sized businesses. Well, Tom, you kind of alluded to this already. Vegas is your hometown. Nevada is your home state. Reno is kind of your hometown as well. Yep. Can you talk a little bit, bit about how you've seen this community come together through this tough period? Yeah, and even as a state, I think we've, we've seen them come together. We're, you and I are on calls on, a, on almost a daily basis with people across the state where we're talking about with hospitals and all the hospitals. We're talking with retail. We're talking with all kinds of heads of trade uh, across the state and making sure that, that things are coming together and we're really working as a unified, as a unified state, making sure that we're taking care of, of each Nevadan um, as, as best we can given the situation we're, we're dealt. Yeah, well, Chairman Tom Burns, I can't thank you enough for your great leadership at the Vegas Chamber. We appreciate your, insight, your insights into not only insurance, but just your strong leadership in general. So thank you so much for being our chairman this year. Well, thank you, Mary Beth. I'm, I'm very proud, very proud to be a Las Vegan, very proud to be a Nevadan. Um, we've been through bad stuff. We'll be, we're going to get through this one, too. We'll be, we'll be good on the other side. All right. Well, thank you again. Tom and I are committed to bringing you the latest information that we possibly can so that you can help your business and to help yourselves and your employees. For a complete list of those resources, you can go to VegasChamber.com. Tom, thank you again. And for all of us at the Chamber, we appreciate your leadership. Thanks for watching. Everybody be safe. Take care.